Hi guys. <laughs> so today's lesson, I thought we would touch upon balance um, and how you can bring balance that you practice in yoga class into other areas in your life. So for example, I know that a lot of you are in a bunch of different activities or maybe um, maybe you go between houses. You're in a blended family and you spend time with mom and you spend time with dad and, and have all activities. Um, school, work, friends, family. You need to learn how to balance all of those things out to make time for yourself. Even at a young age, it's a good practice. So today we're going to practice balancing poses. Okay, so before we do that, we're going to um, just center ourselves and ground ourselves into an easy sit. I'm sitting on my knees right now. Um, my toes are curled under, but you get as comfortable as you want in any kind of easy sit position that you want to sit in. And I'll give you a few seconds to get there. And we'll just begin to Feel yourself grounded in your mat or in the carpet and maybe start to close your eyes or take your gaze closer down towards the ground. Just begin to relax and just start to focus on your breathing, the in and the out of your breath. And we'll start taking longer inhales and longer exhales. See if you can do that H breath, inhale and exhale. deep breath in through the nose and this time open the mouth and just relax and release start to open the eyes good I hope that you enjoy that timing in with yourself okay so we're gonna go in and warm up our bodies so I think the last video that we did we practiced um, some sun salutations we're gonna do that again um, but before we do that we're gonna come onto your mat or under the carpet it doesn't really matter big toes toes touching in the back and knees open wide you're just gonna come down into child's pose and stretch your arms out in front of you relax your shoulders relax under your arms and just Maybe walk your fingertips a little bit more. Take a deep breath and release the breath. Good. See if you can widen the back a little. Walk the shoulder, the, the fingertips a little bit more. Take another breath and release. Good. We're going to come back to center and curl the toes under and lift up into down dog okay reaching your heels down towards the mat shake your head yes and no maybe so take your gaze up towards your belly take a nice inhale and then as you exhale bend your knees come up onto your tippy toes and jump to the top of your mat good we're gonna fold forward into a forward fold and wash away. Take your time coming all the way up, pull your belly into your spine. So you tighten your core to protect your lower back. 
Inhale, come all the way up. Take a deep breath, exhale, fold forward, reach for the toes. Inhale, come up halfway, pull the belly into the spine. Exhale, release, bend the knees and plant your hands. We're gonna jump back, okay, into a plank. If you can, lower your knees, keep your, keep your, out, your arms really close to your body. Drop to your knees, keep your arms really close to your body, lower the chest to the ground, and then inhale, come up, up dog. Good. Now, you can come back to center, and you can either go to child's pose or curl the toes and lift the hips. Okay, let's do that one more time. Bend the knees, come onto the tippy toes, look forward, jump to the top of your mat, fold forward again. Inhale, come up halfway, exhale, release, and then wash away to each side. Okay, coming all the way up. And last time, we're just warming up our body so we can do some balancing and a little twisting. Inhale, take the arms up. Maybe you can reach back a little for a slight back bend. Good, as you exhale, pull the belly to the spine. Fold forward, reach for the toes. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Bend the knees and jump it back to a plank. Good, drop to your knees. And I'll go this way so that you can see the, the process of the up dog, okay? So some of you might wanna turn your elbows out. You wanna turn them in, okay? And then you're gonna lower, 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 almost halfway, use your hands to pull you through. Up dog, it's kinda of hard to see. Come to the center, you can go into child's pose, or cur curl your toes under and in to down dog. So if you did choose to go into child's pose, come up into down dog. Because what we're gonna do now is walk our hands to our feet and our feet to our hands. So walk in towards each other here, okay? Take a deep breath and release the breath. Good, inhale, start to slowly come on up to standing. Good, all right. So our first balancing pose, um, and I'm gonna grab a block really quickly because if you are comfortable with doing tree pro pose, I'm gonna show you a more challenging way to do that. So we're just gonna start with tree pose. I do believe that we have done this pose or we have practiced this pose before, but to pay attention to balance and um, how to bring yourself to balance, we're gonna go over that in tree pose and then in dancer, okay? We th I think we're gonna add um, a uh, eagle pose in there too, okay? So tree pose. First, you're gonna come into mountain pose. So one thing about mountain pose if you lift up your toes and then replace them down onto the ground, if you replace them down, big toe, then second toe, third toe, fourth toe, you notice your toes. Also, on the bottom of your feet, there's four points to press into the ground. If you look at your shoes, one side of your heel might be more worn than the other, that's how you're walking on your on, on your foot. So when you practice mountain pose, you wanna practice good posture and practice standing on all four points of the bottom of your, of your feet, okay? So mountain pose. Inhale, lift the shoulders, relax them down the back, palms facing out, okay? Tuck your tailbone under, pull the belly in, relax the shoulders, Okay, and then lift up your toes and replace them down. And notice that you're standing on the inside and the outside of your feet. Good, close your eyes, 
puff the chest forward just a little bit. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Now squeeze everything up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Just relax your body. All right. So I think I've gone over this with you before, but it's okay to do it again. So with tree pose, you can just simply take, I'm starting on the right side. You can simply just take the right ankle into, I'm sorry, the right heel into the left ankle and kind of slightly bend into that right knee because what we're getting in tree pose is in your hip, okay? And grounding and balance. If this is where you want to start, you can stay there or maybe you want to come up on your tippy toes and bring the foot into the left ankle and the bottom of the shin, okay? Maybe you can slide it up a little bit more. The only thing is you don't wanna place it on the knee, okay? Maybe you can lift and place the right foot on the inside of the left thigh, okay? So here we begin with balance. Your eyes help you with balance, your breath helps you with balance, and your stomach helps you with balance. So if you engage your core, relax the shoulders, use your eyes. So a word in Sanskrit is called drisky, which is focus. Find your focus to help you keep your balance. Use your breath. Make sure you're breathing in and out through the nose and inhale, take the arms up towards the ceiling. Good. Maybe you can press the chest forward a little. Maybe you can look up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, release. So keep the right knee floating up towards the chest, okay? We're gonna keep this balance going. Take the left hand onto the right knee and then reach the right fingertips back behind you. So it looks like this, okay? Use your eyes and your belly and your breath. Good. Take a deep breath and release. Let's try the other side, left side. So left heel into right ankle now, if that's where you want to be. Or if you'd like to challenge yourself, you could bring the foot into the ankle or up the shin, not the knee. And then maybe you can place it on the inside as we inhale and rise the arms, take a deep inhale, and exhale, release, okay? Don't drop that foot down just yet. Right hand to left knee, left fingertips back behind you as we go for a standing twist. Woo! So right now I feel myself leaning into the inside of my right foot. So I just started pressing on the outside of the right foot to save my balance, right? Okay, good, and release. Okay, let's move on to the next one. But before we do that, let's do a flow in between, okay? So we're gonna inhale, take our arms up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, look up, exhale, release, jump it back to a plank, flow through, you're up dog, you can bring your body all the way down and just press through the palms and roll your chest open, like shower it open. And then come to the knees if you want. Or if you're already in up dog, you can roll over the toes and come into down dog. So walk your hands back to your feet and your feet to your hands, okay? And slowly roll up. Great job. Okay, so here we go. Dancer or um, whoops, sorry about that. I'm walking over to get a toll. So if you want to pause in between or look to go look for something that you can use as a toll for dancer, you totally can. I'm going to do it with and without. Okay. So um, if you do have a yoga strap, go ahead and make 
a small hole for your foot, okay? Okay, it'll, it'll be like this size. It's kind of a little jumbled there, but it'll work. Okay, but we're gonna do it first without uh, the yoga strap. You can use uh, a tie, uh, a blanket, a towel, um, anything that's gonna hold your foot and you'll see what I'm doing. Just be careful when you're doing it, okay? So, dancer, I'll do both sides. So we're gonna start with our right leg. Okay, so go ahead and bend into the right knee, point the right toes back. Reach for the inside of your right foot, okay? And then go ahead and bend a little in the left knee. You're gonna reach the left hand forward and kick the right foot into the right hand for dancer. So there's a lot of balancing going on here. You really need to use your eyes, your stomach, and your breath, okay? So from the back, it looks like this, grabbing on the inside. You can do the outside as well. It's a little harder. And what you're doing is you're folding forward and kicking the foot into the hands, into the hand, okay? And reaching forward with the opposite hand, all right? So let's try that again, ready? And if you fall, don't worry about it. Just Keep trying, it's not that big of a deal. Keep a nice bend into the legs that the leg that's not participating in the kicking out, the standing leg, okay? So right now for me, that's my left and I'm reaching forward. Good, take a breath or two, okay? I'm gonna move forward to the left side and go ahead and reach for that back left foot and extend the right hand and press that left foot into the left arm. Make sure you keep the standing leg in the knee a little bent and go ahead and practice that a couple of times. I'm gonna do that one more time. Take another inhale and exhale. Use your eyes to help you with the balance. Woo! Just use my couch <laughs> and then come all the way up okay so to show you how to use this with the strap you make a small circle at the bottom and I'm gonna place my right foot into that circle okay and then you're gonna take and kick it forward and then reach it back behind you with both hands, remember to have that standing leg a little bend into the knee as you kick it out and back, okay? And then you can do that to the opposite side. You can also use a tie or a towel. So feel free to stop this and get yourself connected, right? walking my hands down the strap as it's pulling my leg up and back, okay? All right. All right, so we're gonna come back to the center of our mat and practice one more balancing pose. It's eagle pose, okay? So we're gonna take our arms out like a T and our right arm under the left, okay? And you're gonna come down into like a little squat from the side. You pull your arms away from you and lift up, okay? So it's going to be covering your face. And then just gently take that right leg and bring it up and over the left. You can bring the right toes down or maybe you can wrap it behind the left leg and see if you can squat, 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 squat down. All right, so lots of breathing, lots of pulling in that belly, lots of using your eyes to help you focus. And then we extend up, unravel the arms, 
Good. Relax the shoulders. And we do left side. So now left goes under the right. Okay? And again, pull away and lift up. You should feel that in your shoulders. I'm going to take the left leg now and wrap it around the right. Okay? Pull away and lift up. And maybe squat down a little. So you'll notice each side is different than the other. For me, it's harder to wrap that left foot behind the right leg. That's okay. Use your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. And release. Good. Let's do one more vinyasa. Inhale. Take the arms up. Exhale. Fold forward, inhale, lift the chest, come up halfway, exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands. Come into that plank and lower all the way down to the mat. We're going to do one more pose. It's bow pose, okay? So I'm going to face you this way. And um, so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully, a little bit more. Okay. So you're laying flat on the ground and bring your feet up behind you. Reach back behind you, just like we did for dancer. This time, walk the knees in a little bit more towards each other. And then this time, kick through your hands to lift your chest up for bow pose. Okay? Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then exhale, release. And here we go. We're going to lift up one more time and then see if you can roll over to the right side and press the left foot more a little bit, a little more into the left hand to get into that left shoulder. Take an inhale, come back to the center, lift up and then roll over to the left and kick the right hand into the, or I'm sorry, the right foot into the left hand. Come back to the center, lift up one more time, and relax. Windshield wiper your feet down. Good. Take a deep breath and relax. <laughs> We're going to come all the way up. I'm going to come up into a seated position. If you would like to go ahead and relax on your back for Shavasana, you're more than welcome to, or come into a, a, a comfortable seated position. That's completely up to you while we go into our final pose, Shavasana. And great job practicing your balancing poses and think about different areas of your life where you could bring more balance. Ground yourself, Pull your belly in, pull back your personal power from the situation. Use your eyes, be aware of where you are. Make sure you're taking care of yourself all the time. Always putting yourself first. Because when you do that, when you make sure you are balanced in your surrounding and in your life, then you're able to be there for other people. So, Anyway, leave comments below of any poses that you would like to work on next. And I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. And we're just going to come and rest for 10 breaths, whether you're sitting up or lying on your back. I invite you to close your eyes, settle in and relax your feet, relax the legs, relax your belly. Relax your chest, your throat, your shoulders, your back, your face, your tongue from the roof of your mouth. And we'll just sit silently for 10 deep breaths.
So if you're lying down, start to wiggle your toes and take your hands up and over your head. If you're sitting up, start to slowly open the eyes. If you're lying down, come and join us in an easy sit, crisscross applesauce possibly. And we bring our hands to our heart center and we say with love and light, Namaste. Okay guys, until next time.